Um, we're going to do another metallic color scheme, this time on white, and I'm going to use carbon black, uh, white, gold, and burnt sienna, and we'll see what sort of situation we end up with. That's the plan. There's the black, and there's gold, and some brown. And lastly, a little more white for the swiping. going that way. This thing is so warped. There we go. How about that? That works. And it's still in frame. Okay. Off camera, I am swiping some paper towel. And I'm spraying it with some water. I didn't swipe yet, now I'm swiping. Consciously, I'm going to try to swipe slowly. I'm gonna come back, ooh, watch those drips. Come back and do it the other way, slowly. do something cool or maybe it'll ruin it who knows we'll see oh. got some drips oh. I'm not sure about the color that's showing up in there the gold is mixing with the black and creating a weird greenish color that I'm not liking. Just popping air bubbles. There's no silicone in my mix. This is purely because I shake my paint in the bottles that I pre-mixed large quantities of, and so it tends to have air bubbles. The heat gun just pops the air bubbles. No silicone. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. I know I have to tilt because of puddle in the center. Or do I? I don't know. It's nice and level this time. I'd hate to have to mess it up. But do I like it? Sometimes it's hard to envision, but I'm trying to where um, things are going to really darken up. So right here, this is a pretty vivid spot because there's no white on top of it. There's brown and then a little bit of gold on top of the black, which is looking a little bit like a muddy green, but it's a veil of the gold on top of the black. That is dark, but then this here is light because there's a veil of the white on top. 
And I think that's going to further develop and either the white's going to sink or some of the milkiness is just because the Floetrol and the GAC 800 have a milkiness to them until they dry clear and then everything darkens and gets more vibrant. Um, so sometimes you got to take that into account as you're considering whether you like a color scheme or not. So I feel like this is going to be a lot more high contrast, these lighter cells on this dark area. This dark area is going to get a lot darker. And this uh, brown area is going to also get a lot darker brown. The question is, how are those gold cells on top of the black going to end up looking? Are they going to end up looking green? Because right now they're looking awfully green, and I'm not digging that. I guess I might be deciding that I don't like gold with black. This is a different gold than I used in some of my previous metallic color schemes, which were... That gold sunk a lot, but it wasn't golden brand. It was like this off-brand latex house paint that I had bought. But this is golden brand's iridescent gold fluid line. So I don't know if it's going to behave in a way that I like. We'll see. been stretching a lot so I'm sort of trying to make myself not stretch if it's going to be nice and stable and level I'm thinking I should leave it alone Okay, so I feel like it's definitely pushing this way, not necessarily because it is, I mean, it's probably not perfectly level, but also I know there's a lot of paint right here. So I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to tilt it, but I don't want to. I feel like this one might pleasantly surprise me if I leave it alone. I think I'm going to leave it alone and just see what happens. comments like and subscribe click the bell icon in order to get more notifications and don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com bye and don't forget to follow me on instagram did you know i have an instagram i do i update it daily lots of new posts on what i'm working on new ideas and my most current projects, you can keep track of what I'm up to on there. So go and follow me. Check it out.